can't run from your past. Is this what you wanted? Being a full-fledged uh, MCU superhero is an absolute dream come true, and I don't say that lightly. Um, I was, you know, reading comic books from when I was a little kid. I was playing with action figures. I was watching all the movies, even the really obscure ones, even the ones that, you know, if we're honest, I probably shouldn't have seen because I was too young. But I watched them all, and um, and just became so obsessed with the idea of heroes, with the idea of like making your own destiny and carving out your own path and, and achieving greatness. And um, I just think that, um, you know, what's so special about this movie, of course, is that it's it, it's the representation of that, but for a community that isn't used to seeing, you know, that kind of authentic representation and that aspirational representation. And, and you know, the wonderful thing is that we not only have one title Asian superhero in the MCU now, we have so many, I'm looking at the poster now, and we have so many badass, you know, Asian and Asian American heroes and heroines that audiences will be able to look up to and that each represent a small piece of that spectrum that makes up the Asian or Asian American experience. And, and it's truly such a rich and diverse movie, and I, and I can't wait for people to see it. There's definitely a responsibility when it comes to taking on a role like Shang-Chi. I think we're dealing with subject matter that comes from the 70s that is, you know, maybe parts of it are not the most suited to, to be modernized into 2021. So it was really critical that we, you know, take the, the core elements of the character that we think are the most important, but then to craft a new and fresh origin story that audiences have never seen before that really is progressive and, and makes sense in the modern day. And, and I think we've done that. We have such an incredible filmmaking team, including but not limited to, you know, Destin Daniel Cretton, our amazing director and Dave Callahan, our, our screenwriter, both of whom are Asian American. And so they were really able to write to the Asian American experience when it comes to a, a, a character like Sean. Um, um, you know, I, I was really just struck by how, you know, authentically the script spoke to my own lived experience. And, and you can see little Easter eggs of that sprinkled throughout the movie, like, you know, the way that Sean takes off his shoes before he, you know, visits Katie's house, and, and also the way that, um, you know, um, that language is used, you know, that, that you know, man Mandarin and English are seamlessly woven together in these households. Um, it just really, really incredible. And, um, you know, the responsibility to get those things right is, is so critical. And, um, you know, we've, we've really felt like we've succeeded and, and we hope that audiences will agree when they, when they see our movie. Um, I think I share a few personality traits with Shang-Chi. Most importantly, our affinity for karaoke. Um, I think I love karaoke as much as, if not more than Sean. And, um, you know, I, I, I will say definitely not in the fighting. I, I definitely am not one of the greatest hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the history of the world, so can't really relate to him there. But uh, I think in just the way that he is around his friends, too. I think uh, Sean is intensely loyal. I think he just absolutely loves being in the presence of friends, and, and, and namely his, his best friend Katie. And I think the two of them just are, are so down to have a good time, and, um, and I, I think I'm, I'm very much the same way. Um, and then I'll also say, I think just in the way that Shanxi struggles with his relationship to his father, I think, you know, growing up in an immigrant household, I, I can definitely relate to that, you know, juggling and navigating the expectations of, of my parents and, and trying to connect to them, you know, even across a cultural barrier and oftentimes a language barrier. Um, it was really hard for us and we, we got into a lot of arguments and there was a lot of tension because we just fundamentally didn't understand each other. And, um, you know, I'm really, really happy with the journey that I took and I hope that Sean can take a similar journey in the movie where he can, you know, um, learn to accept all the parts of him and, and in, including, you know, the, the parts that uh, are, are darker and, and maybe um, um, represent, you know, his father's side. I 
I think working with Destin, what really struck me was how much he didn't want to make a, a traditional superhero movie, you know? And we, t we talk about that superhero pose that Yelena makes fun of in Black Widow. I mean, but it's the spirit of that. It's the spirit of like, you know, not wanting to frame this character as a superhero, but rather as an ordinary person. And that's when stories become relatable, is when there is human emotion attached to it. And I think Destin's affinity for that is what really makes this movie pop and what makes the story great. And, um, you know, going in, I was kind of filled with all sorts of anxiety and insecurity about myself and how I measured up as a superhero, you know, because who, who, you know, it's a, who ever thinks that they're worthy, you know, whether it's like being not tall enough, not handsome enough, not, you know, not good enough at martial arts or not, you know, whatever have you, not muscular enough. Like there's just there's so many questions that I had going in just because I knew that I wasn't the tallest, I wasn't the most handsome, I wasn't the best at martial arts. And what Destin really made me understand is that I was chosen for my heart, my emotional range, not necessarily just how high I could kick, how much I could throw a punch. And, and really the story connects because it's a human story and because it has those dramatic beats and, and isn't just, you know, an action movie by the numbers. Um, and so I really hope that audiences can see that when, when it comes through because we do have all of the trademark, you know, mind-bending, amazing action sequences of, of any Marvel movie. But, but then also I think they're going to be really surprised by just how, just how emotionally rich uh, the story is. And that's definitely because of Destin's touch as a director. It was an incredible experience working with an esteemed cast every day. Um, you have, you know, just cinema legends like Tony Lung and Michelle Yeoh, and then also uh, people that are just absolutely crushing the scene today, like Ronnie Chang and, and Aquafina. And then you have, you know, total newcomers like Munger Zhang, who is absolutely incredible in this movie. I mean, it really just was like a dream come true every single day coming to work. Um, I was, first of all, I was incredibly nervous. Um, I was the new kid on the block in a lot of ways. This was my first, um, you know, major movie production. And, um, you know, I was the guy on set with, with uh, oftentimes the guy on set with the least amount of experience. And so um, I had to, you know, I had to defer to a lot of my, my castmates who were a lot more experienced than me. And, and they were all incredibly gracious and incredibly generous and patient with me. And um, we all kind of just got down to the work and, and you know, played and, and explored and, and tried new things and, and just were all united under the shared goal of making the best movie that we possibly could. I think any superhero means hope. It represents, you know, every superhero represents hope and and possibility. And I think that's what Shang Chi will represent to to so many kids who, you know, m maybe haven't seen themselves represented or reflected in that way. And I remember just watching Black Panther for the first time in 2018. I mean, such an incredible movie, one of my favorite films of all time, starring the in absolutely incredible. Chadwick Boseman, um, but uh, I just just feeling the gravity of that movie and just how incredibly empowering it felt just to watch that um, and and wondering and hoping if um, you know if if you know our community would get the same thing and and then being you know so pleasantly surprised uh, not so long after when when Shang Chi was announced, um, there really was a sense that that this was a special moment and and that this meant a lot to the community. And um, that's, you know, reflect, that was reflective in the care that we took as well in our story and making sure that we got every piece right and, and that we accurately reflected what it meant to be Asian and Asian American. This movie is very much a celebration of culture, of pride, and of belonging. So I, I really can't wait for people to see it. I think audiences can look forward to some of the most incredible action sequences in any Marvel movie or any p movie period. I think they can look forward to um, really surprising moments of comedy and also really surprising moments of emotional depth and intimacy. 
And um, you know, that's what you get with a with a wonderful director like Destin. He's so good at at, at kind of crafting this this intimate story, um, rich with human emotion and 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 intricacy, but in the backdrop of this massive blockbuster movie. Um, I, I think he does it so masterfully. And uh, I think audiences are really going to be surprised at the emotional depth of the movie when they when they watch it. Groundbreaking, because not only because it literally there is a moment where the ground breaks, but um, spoiler alert. But but also, I mean, it's just such a watershed moment for so many reasons. It's the first, you know, um, Hollywood movie appearance of a legendary actor uh, in Tony Leung. It's it's the first, you know, Asian-led movie in the MCU, and it's the first movie in the MCU with a predominantly Asian cast. Uh, it, it, it's groundbreaking in its in its action, in its characters, in its richness, and also in its in its representation. So um, it just truly, truly a new and refreshing uh, uh, story and, and I can't wait for people to see it.